Hey, this is Marcus Washington. <clears throat> MTC Media is wrapping up the Bivol Bidabiev fight yesterday. Uh, majority decision for Bidabiev 114 uh, 114, 115 113, 116 112. Uh, I scored the fight 116 112 for Bivol with four 50 50 rounds. Three of the four 50 50 rounds I gave to Bivol. So if you flip those, you can see where it's better be of 115, 113. So, you know, I always tell that to people all the time. Uh, when you're live scoring a fight, be honest on the rounds that are 50 50 that someone could legitimately score for the other person and before you scream and yell about scorecards. Um, I've since watched the fight again. I've watched it twice. I watched it live, scored it live. Then I watched it again to see if there was something that I missed. Um, would there be any changes and stuff? And I still see Bavar winning the fight 116-112. Uh, again, that's with uh, the 50-50 rounds that you could certainly uh, score for B2B at. So I respect the cards from yesterday. It's a tough way to uh, for Bavar to lose. But this is where that old cliche that people just don't talk about eating up in today's boxing. It did when I was growing up because I was the golden era of boxing, which is styles makes fights. And if you watch my preview, I warned. Now, I thought it would happen in the early rounds that Bitter BF, because he fights on his front foot, that those feeling out rounds, that he could possibly take those rounds because he's going to look like that he's the one who is always moving forward. That he's the one that's controlling the real estate. Um, that did not happen earlier in the fight. It happened at times later in the fight. And that's where I had a uh, uh, mixed up. Because if you watch my preview, originally I said that Bavol would win this fight by split decision. I always knew it was going to be close because their styles are so different. And then it's going to come down to what the judges want to reward on those close rounds. It's not every round. It's the close ones. And that's what hurt Bavol. You say, I thought Bavol was great. I thought that he fought terrific. I thought he fought the fight that he should have fought. Now, one of the things I talked about in my preview that Bavol was not able to do, which was he had to land punches that at times would discourage Bitter Biad from coming forward. That never happened. Like, it never happened. Even when they, a couple times the commentators try to say, oh, it looks like Bitter BF is hurt. I, I didn't see anything that discouraged Bitter BF from coming forward, right? Um, and that was one of my keys, was controlling real estate, make sure the, a lot of the fight was in the middle of the ring, those things for Baval. Um, but I, I really thought that uh, maybe Baval could have gone to Bitter BF's body more earlier in the fight and Maybe that would have taken more steam out of him. And when I talk about styles make fights, it's it's one of those things where that was the perfect style to beat Canelo. That's how he beat Canelo the first time. And he would beat Canelo again. Baval would beat Canelo again. Fight that same fight, he beats him again. But with Bitter BF, it's a different type of fight. And I felt like, I feel like, and I'll say it now, Canelo fought Bitter BF, Canelo would win. Because Canelo does well against guys who fight primarily on their front foot. So this is where I said the Styles Big Fights thing is is it's it's true. But I thought that this was the fight I thought it would be. I thought it would be close. I thought there would be multiple 50-50 rounds. I thought it could go either way, which is why I said split decision for Baval. I still feel like on my scorecards that Baval won that fight. I can see where you would have scored it for Bitter Biev. I don't know if I would have scored it 116-112 for Bitter Biev. But I can see where you would score it 115-113 Bitter Biev. I can see where it was 114-114 on a, on a scorecard. And and this goes back, and I'll, I'll go back to another fight. Um, go back to the first Roberto Duran Sugar Ray Leonard fight. There's one scorecard that scores that fight even. When I went back and scored Leonard Duran one, I had to score it even. Now, if I watched the fight about scoring, because that fight was fought the way that Duran wanted to fight the fight, and it seemed like Duran was was dictating the tenor of the fight, 
And that's where our biases get in. Because if you remember, and I know some of you all probably weren't born, but if you remember, it was Leonard had to be the boxer and Duran had to be the puncher. And Leonard fought that fight as a puncher. And so I do think in that fight, a lot of the 50-50 rounds went to Duran. Why? Because it looked like Duran was having the, what they like to call ring generalship. And I think a piece of that happened yesterday with Bitter Beav, Um, that on some judges' scorecard, it looked like the fight was being fought the way Bitter Beav wanted to fight the fight. So it doesn't necessarily mean he won the round. But the perception is, if those rounds end up closer, Close, what do you say? Oh man, that that was a Duran round right there. He fought it every way he wanted to. He he got him to sucker him into standing and punching. And 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 you heard that a little bit out of Timothy Bradley yesterday. Um, I think it was the fifth round where it looked like uh Baval was got a little froggy because he landed some good punches and then he just started coming at him and then Bitter Biev like immediately responded. And and Brad was just like, oh, you see, that's that's not the type of fight. You don't want to chase down a puncher. You see the perception there? Now the perception is this is a bit of BF round. And if it's close, what do you think that some people are going to score it as? They're going to score it as bit of BF, whether it be the BF, you know, won the round or not. So I, I thought there was a lot of that yesterday. Um, but I will say this. It was a great fight. I would love to see him fight again. Don't know what the plans are on whether that fight's going to happen again. I certainly would love to see the fight again. But again, a uh, tough way for Baval to lose. I, it's just a tough way to lose your titles um, in a fight like that. But great fight. Uh, hats off to Bitter Biev. Uh, he's a great champion. He's a great fighter too, guys. It's just they, just, they just went in different ways. So again, my prediction was Baval by split decision and end up being Bitter Biev by majority decision. So. That's how the fight game goes. Smarks Washington, MTC Media.